Hi there. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's so great to meet you in person. Um, if you wouldn't mind introducing yourself and your company. Yeah, of course. I'm Vitor. I'm the director of engineering of Zephyr Scale. Um, and I work at SmartBear. We are the top vendor, the top seller of test management solutions in Atlassian Marketplace. Oh, that's amazing. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> um, would you mind going over some of the features of Zephyr? Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, let's crack on. Awesome. Yeah, let's take a quick little look. Okay. Um, so yeah, Zephyr Scale, as I said, it's a test management solution for, for Jira. And um, it's a pretty comprehensive solution. It's aimed for um, QA engineers, QA managers as well, uh, particularly for more structured teams where you have more enterprise needs. Um, and as I said, it's one of the top sellers in, on the marketplace. Uh, so you'll be well um, serviced to, <laughs> with Zephyr Scale. Um, so this is the main screen of Zephyr Scale. You go to your project in Jira, you have Zephyr Scale on your project sidebar. And then once you click there, you land on this main screen. And here is where we have most of our features. Um, so here we have test cases, cycles, plans, and then you can do some reporting as well. Um, one of the features I would like to focus is, um, so if I click in one of these test cases, I'll, I'll show you. It's, um, it's basically um, a no-code uh, automation that we introduced recently, and it's based on AI as well. Uh, but you can obviously do manual test management as well and create your manual test cases. So if I go to, um, for example, this is test case over here, I have, um, you know, some basic information. Uh, you can label your test cases, uh, organize them into folders, link to Jira components as well, uh, add custom fields and so on. And when I go to the test script, here is where I define the steps of my test. Um, which you see, I have a um, few steps already, tw tw 24. Uh, so these steps, they're actually based on this website that I want to test. Um, this is like a test website, it's, um, it's an online store. Um, and basically what I'm doing here is, I'm just writing my steps in natural language. And then when I click run automated test, you have this no code automation um, side panel where I can say run this test against this website, click run test, and it will trigger the, um, the AI automation. The AI will analyze your test case, it will suggest some changes um, that makes more sense to make the, the, the test steps more specific. You can approve those changes and run, and then the AI will run the test for you. Um, so if I do approve and run, you see the screen, you see the mouse clicking around and uh, making the test for you. Uh, so you see how it's going to go on, on each step on the left side and then it's, it, it shows what's happening on the screen here. Um, and I can see this um, execution going on here as well. So I can always go and, and watch. Um, okay, so that's how you execute um, tests using AI. Uh, in a no-code um, automation approach. Uh, so it's literally translating your natural language test case. Oh, it's best. Um, it's literally tra translating your t manual test cases into automated tests with no, um, with no code at all. Um, from here, you can link test cases to Jira issues, to your user stories, requirements, and so on. Uh, check the execution history or um, or the change history as well, which is very important for compliance. Um, and there are a couple of more advanced features about test cases. You can use test-driven um, testing approach, for example, define your, your table of different combinations and then execute the same test for all the combinations and so on. Oh, very cool. um, we have a pretty nice set of reports and gadgets as well, so we can configure G Jira gadgets. Um, with many different charts. So all of these charts are coming from Zephyr Scale, showing you some testing information about progress um, or about coverage. So each of my requirements or user stories and what's the coverage of how many tests I executed on, on each of them and the status. Um, and you can integrate with other automating testing tools as well using the API. 
Uh, so this is an example of um, an execution coming from a, a JUnit test cases, and it just um, so this is um, the, the log response from from this test execution that failed. Um, yeah. Apart from that, you can generate many reports. You can choose and uh, start your favorite reports as well and filter by your starred reports uh, and the reports are pretty comprehensive you can do custom filters you can filter on a bunch of different information and they are very uh, comprehensive as well um, so yeah i hope that was um, a good quick overview of the product of course there are many other features uh, but it would be impossible to cover in a couple of minutes, of course. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and yes, I hope that was useful for you. That was amazing. And uh, we'll definitely link uh, to the marketplace so people know where they can check this out um, and where they can contact you guys if they have further questions. Yeah, of um, course. And thanks and, so much. Yeah, and if anyone has questions, obviously contact the Cyber Media folks and they're going to be able to help as well. Yeah, we'll work together um, to get those answers. Absolutely. So. Thanks so much for being here. <laughs> Thank it's a you very much. Meeting you. Pleasure meeting you too. <laughs> Enjoy the event. Thanks.